Hello and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Today we'll be focusing on the History Challenge. The History Challenge is a legacy style challenge in The Sims that takes your Sims on a journey through history. Starting with the Stone Age, there are a lot of rules to this challenge and I'll put links to them in the description box below. If it sounds like something that you're interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any episodes of this History Challenge. So let's make some Sims history. In our last episode, Ragni aged up. He is now an infant. It looks like a quirk of his was revealed. This baby has frequent hiccups. Infants with this quirk have more gas in their tummy and hiccup more frequently. It looks like he also has Sulani mana. The sim is imbued from Sulani's elemental energy due to their heritage. They can increase the quality of plants as well as summon volcanic bombs. So I guess he inherited this from his father. Ilsa is trying to nurture these grubs. The grubs were depleted when they harvested grub meal so she's trying to get these new grubs healthy. They are well fed, but she does have to nurture them as well to improve the quality of the grub meal. Today we're supposed to have that party for the teen girls at 11. It also looks like Ragnar is a snuggly sleeper. Ragnar prefers to fall asleep when being held. Infants with snuggly sleeper quirk cry when they're put down to sleep, even if they've been soothed. They prefer to sleep while being held or in a back carrier. I'm sorry, that's not going to be happening here. Isle especially doesn't like to coddle the children. She believes that they they should be independent. Let's see what Ilsa needs to do, but she does need to level up some of her skills. When her mother passes on, all of the responsibilities for taking care of the family are going to pass to her. Ilsa has completed nurturing the grub. She's over here continuing the painting that she had started earlier. Perhaps mother's right. Perhaps I should journey to a big village and take all my paintings and see if I can get more money for them. Then instead of just selling them immediately, I think I'll store them and then I can travel and try to sell them maybe at a market or something. While it's finished eating, she notices that the ghost of her grandson, Ben, is in the eating hut. Hello there, did you go and see the baby that your mother had? Oh, I had heard about it in the land of the dead, grandmother. The world is changing, Ben. Your brother is bigger than you were when you were his age. Did you have a party when the baby was born? No, but I'm going to be inviting all the teen girls over because your brother, Flint, we're going to try to find a wife for him now. When he grows up to be an adult, he'll already have a wife planned out. Sort of like we did for you. It looks like Ilsa is not pregnant. She is going to be having her cycle in about three hours. So the woohoo that she did with Ragni did not take. She so after she has done her cycle, we'll just have to have her try again with Ragni. You see that I had a brother for you? I hope that you're happy about that. When you go back to the land of the dead, Ben, can you talk to the stone goddesses? The stone goddesses rarely listen to us in the land of the dead, especially if we're boy ghosts. You would be better off writing your pleas and throwing them into the volcano to ask for the favor. Or perhaps laying out food for the stone goddesses. What if I paint a painting for the stone goddesses and throw that in the volcano? Would that make them happy? Are you excited about having a baby brother? No, he told me he was not happy that I had a baby boy mother. Ragni has to go to work in an hour. Let's see how his needs are. He's a little bit hungry. Ben had taken some food out. You don't need to eat food, Ben. You should put that down. That's rather trashy that you think you're gonna eat all our food. You're a ghost. You don't need to eat. Fifth is woken up. He's all excited about today. And while it is rather early, he's going off to take a bath because the bathing hut is available at this time. He can be clean for when those girls come. There are gonna be a lot of girls here today. I want you to behave. We're trying to find a future wife for your brother Flint. And if you scare them off, then he's gonna be alone in the woods living in a cave. You don't want to be responsible for that, do you? Ragni is headed off to work. Ilsa has seen that her mother has left a jar on the ground. Mother, you, you can't leave jars lying around. That's contributing to the trash that we have here. Oh no, look at the state of this grill. I should probably clean this and I should probably make some food. I don't think we have enough fish in the coal box to feed the girls that are coming here. I wonder what they would want to eat. I've never been to a party like this myself, so I don't know what I should serve these girls. Ilsa has also gotten hungry while she was cleaning this grill. She's going to go check on her son because if she's feeling hungry she's sure that he's gonna be feeling hungry so she is coming over to check on Ragnar Ragnar you gotta get up so mommy can feed you Ragnar has a quirk he 
loves wake up time. Ragnar is frequently bright and sunny upon waking. Infants with loves wake up time. Quirk is more likely to be happy when they wake up. Biff is going to be doing his part to clean up the land. He heard Og talking about the party and they had to make a good impression on these girls that possibly might be marrying his older brother. So he's cleaning up the dirty plate. Thanks for cleaning up. We don't want to make a bad impression on all those girls that are coming here today. I don't know what song I should sing when the girls arrive. I should probably sing them a song to greet them though. You could sing a song about how warm it is when they show up. Yeah, I could tell them they're as pretty as a picture that mother painted in the song. Oh, it's so hot and so are you. Yeah, that's the song I'm gonna sing. That song will surely make them want to marry you. Just make sure when you sing it, you don't sound like a llama yelling in the woods. No, I'll practice a lot before they come. Picking of the woman you're gonna marry in the future is no game. You gotta think these things through. You should probably start thinking about this now. So when you meet girls, you might want to think that they could possibly be your future wife. Hey, where are you going? I was telling you valuable advice. Oh, I'm not feeling so good. This can't get sick now. He's right. I should practice singing. I don't want to sound like a raging llama when they come and I'm trying to sing them the You're So Beautiful song. It looks like Ilsa put Ragnar on the playmat. He is fussing, he's really tired, but he is looking at the toys. Ragnar has unlocked the reach milestone. What's that? Ragnar started moving his little arms to reach for nearby objects. Now he can ask for toys and play with the playmat toys. Ragnar has learned how to adeptly use his fingers. He is making some progress in learning how to use his arms and legs. Most likely due to aisle helping. Flint has acquired the singing skill. Now, Ilsa saw her mother doing something with Ragnar. Right, um, I think she was telling you to use your arms and legs. Come on, Ragnar. We have to do what grandmother said. You gotta use your arms and legs. Come on, you can do this. I saw my mother doing this with you. Ragnar's trying really hard, but all he's getting is frustrated. Trying to use his arms and legs, but they're not working. Ilsa doesn't know if she's doing this tummy time thing that she saw her mother doing correctly. <laughs> Lift head milestone was unlocked. What's that over there? Ragnar just lifted his head for the first time. There's so much to look at. Have caregivers practice tummy time together to unlock new milestones that will help Ragnar see the world in more ways than he can imagine. Come on, you can do this. You can get strong. You can get strong and when your daddy comes home, we can show him what you can do. Ragnar is home from work. He's brought 160 simoleons. He's feeling energized and he's feeling confident and sure of himself. Now he needs to meet Sims at different locations and he needs to work on his charisma skill. He's gonna practice his speech to- Oh good, none of the women around. I'm gonna go in the hot and work on my speech. I'm sure that if I learn to be a better speaker, I will be able to persuade these women to, to make me the chieftain. Hopefully these women can see that now that I've provided a strong male to take my place after I pass on, then I have done my job and I've made a child to carry on my legacy after I'm gone. Any moment they're gonna be walking in here and saying, Ragni, you are are now the chieftain. Why did it take us so long to know this? Ilsa got tired of working on tummy time. She left Ragnar alone in the hut. He is angry because he's exhausted. She didn't put him in the crib. Bladder is also filling up. We're gonna have him use his diaper because at this age he can't sit up to use a potty chair. After he's used his diaper, he got so tired out that he just fell asleep in his own stench. Kyle's woken up from her nap. She knows that there's no food to feed the guests that will be arriving. She's going to be working on some grilled plantain. Fifth is seeing to Og's chicken hut duties. And he's going to come into the eating hut and put down some colored cloths for the party. As is Og to make the table look a lot better. Weenie Russ is about to begin. Are you ready to start? Yeah, let's start. Yeah, Boxhead is the first to arrive. The three girls that his grandmother invited to this party have arrived. Flint is coming over to greet them. How are you doing, Baya? I'm glad that you came to the party. Oh, I'm not so feeling so good. I shouldn't get too close to these girls. What if I get one of them sick? Fifth has come over to greet a person that he hasn't met before. Hi, how are you? I'm here for the party. Flint is looking at this girl. He's never seen anyone with hair that color. Hi, I'm Flint Sibilis. I believe you're here for the party. Yes, I am. I'm Nenya Ann. Oh, I hear some people out there. I should probably get into some party attire. I heard that Isle has 
hosting a party for her grandson Flint. While I really don't care about this party, I should probably look like I care about this party. Kyle is over here roasting some sweet sap. The teen girls have come over to sit around the fire with her. I don't know anything about you. What can you tell me about yourself? I want to be a writer and I want to write down all the recipes that my mother has created over the years. People around me don't think that I could make a living off of writing about food, but I know better. I know people clear their plates when my mother cooks and those are recipes I want to save. So we're going to have him scope the surroundings to see if there's anybody he finds attractive. This would be a good place for him to scope. Okay, he's looking around at the three girls that his grandmother invited to the party. After finishing scoping the room for attractive faces, he didn't notice anyone interesting. He sees a girl over here. Her hair is as red as his brother's. He's never seen any girl with hair that color. Maybe I should sing her that song that Fifth and I were talking about. Ragney's over here. I can't believe you brought your ugly face to this party, Bea. Do you really think that Flint would want to marry a llama looking girl like you? I can't believe you constantly insult me. You're not much better looking yourself, Ragney. I can't believe that Ilsa married you. Haha, <laughs> that's funny that you think that. You know, I really don't care about this marriage to Ilsa. I just want to take over the clan. Bea didn't like what she just heard from Ragney. I don't care what this ugly girl thinks about me. Isle is looking at Ragni. She might have overheard what he just said to Bea. I bet if we voted on who was the ugliest one, you would win. Ragni, you should just shut up while you're ahead. You don't have to be so mean. I'm gonna go look for some food. You clearly don't know how to cook. It. The two teens are cooking sweet sap. Flint wanted to talk to Bea, but Bea is looking for food and she's wandered off. Og is coming in to check on the baby. The baby is hungry. Isle sees that the baby's being taken care of by Og. She's gonna go talk to the girls that she invited to this party to see if she can get to know a little bit about them so she can make a decision for her grandson. Hey there, thank you for coming, Nana. I know you made a long journey. Did you ride on that golden llama like your mother said you would? Oh yes, I parked it out back. That's great, I'd like to see this golden llama. I didn't bring a golden llama. I swam here from the island, but you know where I live. Yeah, that llama was so clumsy, I thought I was gonna fall down the mountain on its back. There's a sickness going around the island. You two girls better be careful. Yeah, I've been feeling trashy for days. Flint has come in to the hut with the two girls and his grandmother and his brother. Would you like me to sing a song to you? I learned a song. I think songs are very romantic. I would love to hear your song. Ragnar is back over here at the campfire with Bea. Even though he doesn't like her, he's constantly around her. Perhaps he's secretly crushing on her. Oh my goodness, when did everybody leave? I must have dazed out. I think I'm gonna start cleaning up these plates before the party's over. I'll see the cleaning up the plates. August come in here. I'm feeling pre pretty fit and strong from doing that yoga. I'm sure this fish will make me feel better. Flint has come over here to thank Bea for coming. He's trying to get to know each of the girls so he can tell which one he likes the best when his grandmother asks him. But Bea doesn't want to talk to him. Yeah, you better pick one of these girls and move out soon. It's not cheap to keep you fed and clothed. So the sooner you move out, the better it will be for this family. So pick one fast. You better watch out for him. He's planning on taking over the chieftainship. It'll be a sad day in the Simbilis family if he ends up being the chieftain. Don't you two have anything nice to say? You're just doom and gloom. This one's pretty smart. Maybe you better pick this one. Yeah, don't throw rocks at her just because her face is ugly. You are one crabby old man. I am tired of hearing the trash come out of your mouth. Do you have a lot of money? We, I'm not going to have anything to start off with. That's really funny. You should probably go out and earn some money at a job of yours if you're thinking of marrying me. I could sing you the song that I just learned. My, I hear all sorts of conversation outside. Oh no, the girls have come. Oh my, I can't believe I slept so late. I think I should wash up before I go out and greet any of those girls. I would hate to make a bad impression with stinky mouth breath. Arl is watching Flint and Bea's interaction while she makes sweet sap. They seem to be getting along rather well. My land is really neat. If you and I got married, you would move there, I think. I couldn't live here with all these bugs. Well, I would have to go live with you anyways because there's no room for me on this land. We would either have to live where you live or pack up a llama and go elsewhere. We could always go 
to a different land. They're both hungry. They're both going to go eat and perhaps they'll continue their conversation at the table. Ilsa has not had a chance to introduce herself to these girls. I would hate to have these girls see that things don't work here on this land. Bad impression on them if they see things are broken around here. Well, it looks like the party is over. We'll have to see how Flint views these girls. It looks like he knows Bea the best, but it looks like he is the most compatible with Nena. I hope when you go home that there were no monsters to fight on the way. I think this party was perfect. All of the girls that I saw today were very, very shiny and sunny. Did you decide which of the girls that you like the best? Do you like Bea here? Did you like Nena? Or did you like Holly? Do you know if any of them can cook? I know how to cook. My mother no taught me how to cook. I also know how to ride a golden llama. I'm also going to be the leader of the Boxhead tribe when my mother passes on. Would that work in my favor? When you think about possible wives for Flint, please keep that in mind. I'm glad that you're telling my mother the truth about your situation right away because I really hate people who lie. I'm glad you didn't cover that up. It would be very trashy. Why should I hide that I'm going to be a chief this someday? Did you know that your husband wants to take over this clan? He was telling me over at the fire. Did he really say that he wanted to take over our clan? I can't believe he said that to you. Has he been scheming this whole time? I think it's really neat that you found that out for me. Well, anything for you, Ilsa. I know that you're a chieftain and I'm going to be a chieftain someday. We chieftains have to watch out for each other. Very sweet that you told me. I'm going to have to think about what you said and make plans in advance. I think that because of the truth that you told me, I will become best friends with you, Bea. I'm just going to have to think about what to do about him. I can't have him around trying to hurt my mother or myself in the night. I think I'm going to go into the forest and pray to the stone goddesses. I'm yes, when you commune with nature, the answer will come to you. And then you will know what to do with your scheming husband. Yeah, we women got to stick together. And he is so old like a dinosaur. I didn't realize that when I married him. And all of his words make me so angry. It's like a dinosaur is dancing on my heart every time I listen listen to him talk to me. Yeah, the stone goddesses will surely give you an answer on what to do about him. I'm not feeling very good. All of the information that you just gave me is hurting my head. Bea is leaving. She's feeling really tired. Ilsa is thinking about what Bea told her. I'm gonna have to think about what I'm doing. Ragni's in the hut. He's holding the baby, but she does need to have that heir to the Symbilis family. When we tried to do woohoo, it didn't take. We're gonna have to try again. So Ilsa and and Ragni are, are going to woohoo again to try to have a baby because when they woohooed those last three times, it did not work. Right now, she's trying to get the baby girl child. I am going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by our Crooked House. If you like what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow the Symbilis family on their journey through the early civilization era, it really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.